Hi, I'm Zandri Kutzer and I'm a producer at Nachtlag Films. When producing your own film, I think the best piece of knowledge that I can send your way is to know the script, the schedule and the budget like the back of your hand. When it comes to budget, you really in narrative can only plan 80%. Um, and therefore, you always need to sort of accommodate for the 20% that is out of your control. It's important then to make sure that you always have a 20% contingency in your budget. Um, because on the day, like things happen, you might start filming and run out of supplies or have a new plan. And then you need money at your disposal to be able to alleviate that problem. So I've done like quite a couple of films and series over the years. And I'm still as intimidated by the budget as I was on day one. Mostly because I didn't go to all my maths classes. But that doesn't matter because I know how to tell a story. And so what I can tell you today is that when looking at your project and in producing it, there are three key tools that you always need to have a grip on and you need to know like the back of your hand. And those are the budget, which is the actual Excel document that calculates how much money you are putting toward what, the schedule, so not just the days that you're shooting, but the days, what those days look like, um, but also all of the little arrangements that makes up that day and that influences your budget. And then lastly, but most, most importantly, um, the script. So what is the story about? What are the locations or cast members needed? Um, and how you would need to put all of that together to get the story that you need to in the proverbial can. Okay, so when you're looking at your budget, I think the most important thing to ask yourself is, spending this money, will it help me tell the story? And if it doesn't help you tell the story, then you probably shouldn't do it. Everything that you're gonna do from here on out is to service the story. At the end of the day, the thing that people see is not the budget. They don't see the good relationships behind the screen. They don't see the schedule. They see the story that you made. Just keep your budget as balanced as possible and always up front and center that whichever decisions you make really does add production value to your story. So what does production value mean? Production value is anything that helps you to tell the best possible story. So say for example, your idea is a period drama set in the 1920s, right? I can almost guarantee that you will never, ever, ever have the budget to create exterior locations of the 1920s, but maybe spend money on aging and makeup um, and wardrobe of the time to really sell that we are in a different time. If your script asks for, I don't know, science fiction, see to it that you rather spend more money on visual effects or have space for that in your budget. So each budget really is like, there's no hard and fast way to put together a budget. It really is um, put together with intentions of what the project needs. Filmmaking is very exciting. And sometimes we get swept up and overwhelmed by trying to put together our vision. So there are guerrilla strategies out there um, to make a movie with little to no money. I think something that I wouldn't just pass on today is Whatever you do, do not cut corners. Do not film without the necessary safety precautions um, ticked off. If you want to film in streets, you need to find out how to get a permit. It's not difficult. You can Google it. Okay. Um, don't film on train tracks and not have the permission from the station owner. So when it comes to making a movie with little to no tools, I think the single most important thing that you should try and budget for is sound. If you have all of the visuals and if you have a great cast and if your locations and your wardrobe and art department are all locked in, you really have nothing if you don't have good sound. So see if you can twist a couple of arms in the sound industry to come help you with some on-set sound.